So from the corner of that tree, it comes down there. So you can't see where it is. Through the gate. Through the garden. It was only dug this morning, but you already you can't see where it is because they sealed it up. And it's going through ducting. To the gate, across the driveway, and into the house. That's as far as the fibre's gone now, and they're going to drill a hole through the wall. And it's buried in a duct under the gravel there through the flower bed behind the tree across the path up through where those stones are so they took the wall down and then put it back again and while they're on with it and they put a duct under the gravel they're running a horse pipe to the greenhouse through the same duct killing two birds with one stone now they're just having some wine and they've finished the job. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> YouTube again. <laughs> Quite a few people have looked at the dancing on YouTube. Have they? Yes. Some work. The antenna that the uh, fibre is replacing, and this is the problem that we've got trees. No, no, your fire will be far better than the others. Put in there. <laughs> Instant rubbish off the others. <laughs> so here we have Austin holding the end of the cable. We've got Dave cleaning the fibres, and we've got what's your name? Nigel. We've got Nigel from the Lancaster Guardian holding the fibre when it comes in through the window. So the fibre is being stripped out of the armour plating and the protected plastic sheet. Cheers. Equal total tail reflection. And we can't even get a decent phone line. It's on me, aren't it? <laughs> you got the same problem. Yeah. Well. I've got a fancy fibre like this, I know that. <laughs> There's nothing stopping you having a fancy fibre like this, you know. There is, we haven't got a Christine in the village. We've got them to get for you, we're expert diggers now. Yeah, we are. No problem. Just don't tell us it's 10 miles, OK? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I used to have fantastic broadband speed, you know. And then all these old days started getting free computers. Mm. Silver surface. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now the contention ratio. Even worth speaking about. My mum lives in a village in Scotland and it's not it's quite a reasonable sized village and uh, she can't get decent broadband at all yet because BT won't do whatever it has to do to the exchange. Oh right. And it's ridiculous, I think it's mm. got a thousand people in the village, isn't it? Really? Yeah. You think it's it's not big enough to make it worthwhile. Absolutely yeah. shocking. And they're supposed to be in Scotland. The Scottish government said that everybody mm. in a rural area in Scotland would have it within mm. six hundred years. Wow. Alignment. I'm now checking the end angles and saying left's not point three degrees. So if they're, if they're off, it'll kick it out. Find alignment. Checking them confirms about single mode fibres. Pause. And there'll be a flash. That's it done. Husband part. Most the ends. There's your fusion. That's it. And that gives a, an estimated result 0 0.02 dB. Mm.
So we've joined the yellow and the blue. Is it? What have we joined? No, no? The green, green, and the, green brown. and the brown. Yeah, that's what we're doing here. Yeah. Right. Right, so we've got there from Lucid putting the fibre in the box. We've got the media adapter that way, I think, to be plugged in. Well, we'll plug that in now before I mount this on the wall, and then we can see everything's good. Okay. Can we plug it in? Yep. So this is to see if the fibre's working. Yeah. And this is going to convert the fibre into an Ethernet connection for the computers. I'll cut that bit, don't worry. <laughs> I thought it was quite smooth actually. <laughs> <laughs> After award nominee. We just need we just need half a dozen pairs of hands. <coughs> So while he gets the pigtail out, we're just going to look here, and we've got Elena surfing on her laptop, and I am listening to Stephen Carter live at the Next Gen Roadshow in Manchester. Uh, I, uh, He's speaking I on a video conference. He's not actually in Manchester, uh, but they're in Manchester watching him. Service in broadband uh, connectivity and what we've said about next generation uh, capability, both in fixed networks and in mobile networks, uh, where I believe there is a real opportunity for this country to become a test market, a leading test market in our. Uh, both our infrastructure capabilities, but more importantly, in a sense, what then hangs off that infrastructure in terms of service development, uh, applications, creativity, network management, hosting, and all the other services and business opportunities that flow from that. Right, looks like the connection's a bit flaky there. That's why we're putting fibre in. Half, you can turn and knock. It's just before it's nothing still works. Right. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, but just finding the right cable. Yeah, I think probably they just deployed it a little bit too early. Uh, I spent my professional life today um, uh, about this uh, detour in the uh, creative. Still listening to Stephen Carter. And It still keeps stopping because of the trees stopping the wireless connection. Shortly we will have a fibre connection. Here we go. Remember. <laughs> I'm sure we had this last time. <laughs> we still been for an hour. No, no. Here we have lights. So we have okay. fibre to the home connection for Elena. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got the Guardian photographer to witness it and take a proper photograph, unlike my amateur ones. <laughs> <laughs> right, so there's Dave from Lucid who's just done the uh, fibre to the home for Elena. Uh, how much better is it, Elena? Fantastic. It's amazing. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>